Hey everyone, this is Alex you Say Days. Today we're going to talk about code gen with Playwright. So this is the second uh, module and uh, we're just going to go into the one of the best features of the Playwright, especially if you're starting as a new automation engineer, is code gen. So Playwright provides a command line tool to start the code generator. When you run this tool, it launches a browser in a special mode designed for recording interactions. The command typically look like npx playwright code gen followed by the URL of the web application you want to test. And I will show you that in a minute. Why use code gen? So code gen has interactive learning experience. So by using playwright's code gen tool, new testers can immediately start generating test scripts by simply interacting with the web application as they normally would as a user. This hands-on approach is highly intuitive and reduces the initial learning curve. Understanding through observation. Observing how manual interactions are translated into playwright commands in real time helps testers understand the relationship between UI actions and the corresponding automation code. Fast prototyping. Code generation allows for rapid prototyping of tests. Testers can generate the skeleton of a test quickly and then refine and expand upon it, which is significantly faster than writing tests from scratch. Okay, so let's get into the code and see how it works. Okay, so let's get started with CodeGen. We will use this web page, the-internet.herokuapp.com forward slash login. So this is one of the very popular web pages when you can practice automation. So in this web page, we have a login screen, login page. Uh, and if you provide the correct username and correct password and hit the login button, you will get into the secure area of the web page. Here is our uh, login, Tom Smith. So this is the username and here's our password, uh, super secret password exclamation mark. So pause the video and copy or type out this web address and then copy it so like this. Now let's go to our uh, Visual Studio code and type in the console npx playwright code gen and then control V or right click to paste the web page link. All right, so it's see it pasted and hit enter. And we see two windows popping up. So we have Playwright Inspector. You can see this little red is turned on that it, uh, it means that it is recording. So if I'll click on it, it will stop recording. Like whatever actions I perform right now, nothing happens. If I click it again, you can see it is highlighted. Now it is recording. So if I'll click into the username field, you can see on the line five, uh, that the actual playwright code was added. So it got the element user paid, username by the label and then it clicked on it. This repeats what I do, right? Now I can type here Tom Smith. So Tom, Tom Smith. Perfect. Then let's click into the password. And you can see I kind of click around. So it's adding like additional, um, lines of code. I will delete those later so you don't have to worry about them. But look at line nine. So I just clicked in the password field and it recorded a step. Now we can type super uh, secret password exclamation mark. And you can see the text right here. So that's the text we expect. After typing the password, we hit the login button. And we got into the secure area. Perfect. Um, you also can see the code that was generated to hit on the login button. Now we can start the assertions. We actually logged into the secure area, perfect. So the first assertion we can do, um, so here, assert visibility. So let's make sure that you logged in into secure area is visible. So I click assert visibility then click on the element and it creates an assertion on line 12. It says await, expect, then it grabs the locator by text and then it wants it to be visible. So it's verifying that this element is visible. Nice. So after that assertion, uh, let's assert text. So hit assert text and now highlight the text you want to assert. So I want to assert the text uh, of the welcome message. So I highlight the whole thing and then it has the pop-up 
you just click on the check mark and on line 13 you see another assertion was added await expect page locator h4 to contain text and the text that is in there okay the last thing is uh, assertion of a value we don't have value on this page so let's hit log out get back into the login page and just to see how the assertion works i'm going to type in the username uh, number 11 and then grab assert value and then click on the username with the field in value now you can see uh, how i clicked on the logout on line 15 on line 16 i clicked on username on line 17 i typed in number 11 in there and on line 18 i asserted that that field has value 11. all right so this is good enough for us to get started so you can see how it's easy to generate code with code gen with playwright so if you knew you're just starting you don't know how to write code yet go ahead and use code gen to practice as a user would go through a web page and see how playwright is creating the code right so with all this code being here i can just copy it there's a copy button you can highlight the whole thing so let's copy it and then go back to visual studio code and in the tests folder i'm going to create a new file uh, code gen underscore login dot spec dot js and let me paste all that code here so control v to paste great uh, now i importing playwright uh, import, importing test importing spec from the playwright perfect then the test starts uh, let's give this test a name this was generated generated by code gen and let's go line by line so here we visit the link on line four line five and line six you can see i double clicked here twice the username so i can delete one of the lines now line six i fill out the username line seven again i misclicked so you can delete that now line seven, I click on password field. Line eight, we fill out the password. Line nine, we click on the login. On line 10, we verify you logged into secure area that it is visible. On line 11, we verify that there is the text uh, with the welcome message. line 12 is again misclick so i think we can delete this now on line 12 again we click on the logout button then we go back into the username field then we type in number 11 and then we verify that this field contains number 11. so in the terminal you can press ctrl c it's gonna terminate uh, the batch or essentially just uh, stop the code gen from running let's type clear to clear out the console now i want to run this test and see the results if it does everything that i expect it to do so i will do test and then put dot only so only this test runs uh, and let's put a pause at the very end of our verification so i'll say await page dot pause and now let's run it so npx play right test let's do dash dash headed uh, so we actually visually see how it's running and hit enter all right so here's the test actually finished so it runs really quick uh, but you can see step by step how it was executed so the same code that we have right now i can resume and what this will do uh, it will unpause and finish the test so hit on it and test is done so instead of having one pause let's add one more pause so copy this and put it from line 16 uh, hit enter to 
start a new line and put it also on line 5. Back in the console, click on it and then press upper key on your keyboard to uh, bring back the previous command. So we have npx playwright test dash dash headed and run again. So the browser comes up, uh, but now you see it's paused right after getting to the Heroku app.com login. And here we have our playwright inspector. So let's step through each step and see how it's being executed. There is the button step over so I can click on it. And now you can see what's happening. So playwright went into the username field uh, showing us how it grabbed it, the locator. So again, next step. Now uh, it's about to fill it out. Next step, we can see text being added. So same thing now, clicks on the password. Next step, about to fill it out. Next step, the actual password added. The next step, clicks on the login button. Next step, uh, it verified that uh, you logged into secure area was visible and now it's verifying that welcome to the secure area this text is there it is present yep perfect after that moves to log out button next step logs out goes back to the username field types in 11 and then asserts that it has value 11 yep right here the last execution line 16 and now with uh, at the pause that is right here on line 17 and we're ready to finish the test step over or that's going to finish it or just hit resume and we're done so one test pass and we have a report available so we can copy and play show report paste it in the console and let's open it up here's our report here's our Here's our code that we added. So this was generated by CodeGen. Here's all the steps that we went through uh, and everything passed, okay? So yeah, this is how it is to start with Playwright. You can just record and click through. Now, obviously we're gonna learn more. We're gonna learn how to find locators ourselves, how to create assertions uh, and many other things as we go through the course. But if you need to immediately start with Playwright, uh, you can start it by doing CodeGen and you can start learning by actually recording your steps, then creating test cases out of them. Okay. So this was Alex USA Days and I'll see you in the next video.